really excited when she told me my 90s sitcom person was going to be Hillary Banks because Hillary Banks had all the looks. She always had the look. She always was style. And I actually was going <laughs> to, when I told my mom about it, she was like, oh, are you going to get like the, the bucket, like the blossom hat? And I was thinking about getting a, doing a look that had that, but I was like, you know what? No, I'm just going to go ahead and stick to this one. But yeah, I really love this one. But yeah, that was one of her signature things was to always have like the matching hat. But she always had on really cute blazers and skirts and dresses. I just loved her fashion. And to me, it was very much classic. So I knew whatever I was going to make, this wasn't going to be something that I was just going to make for this challenge and not wear again. She's definitely wearing both of these items. <laughs> so if you guys want to see which patterns I use to create these items, go ahead and stick around. I'm a 80s baby, 90s kid. So The Fresh Prince was one of my favorite shows to watch. And when Rochelle asked me to do this challenge, I was like, yes, definitely want to do this. And she gave me Hillary Banks. And I'm so happy with how the outfit came together it's such a cute look and it doesn't look dated or anything i'm definitely going to be wearing this outfit um together just like this and broken apart i love how it came together i love this crop blazer um so i actually ended up doing hillary banks outfit from season three episode six i'll go ahead and insert some pictures so you guys can see it but i love my version it's not exactly the same but it's pretty pretty close I think um the skirt she had on was just like a simple skirt the fabric that I have my plaid is a little bit well not a little bit a lot of it thinner but it still gives the same look and she does have on a red blazer and a black turtleneck I actually just ended up putting um this black turtleneck that I have from uh where did I get this turtleneck Amazon. <laughs> it's an like Amazon buy. Um, but yeah, like I can't wait to wear this blazer out. Like this is so cute. I actually ended up making this blazer before and this skirt. So what I'm going to do, because this video is just pretty much like a show and tell, I'm going to link the pattern reviews for this blazer and this skirt because I made this blazer last fall in a wool fabric. And this is actually Vogue V1536. I made this already. So I'll go ahead and link it. And the skirt this has to be like my fifth time making a skirt. So when I saw the picture of what I wanted to make, I was like, definitely going to sew this pattern. I'm going to leave the number up for you guys to see in a picture of the pattern because it's escaping me right now on which one it is. But it's one that I make all the time because it's such a simple classic skirt um, that I make for work. Um, but yeah, it came together so quickly. Um, I'm so glad I ended up doing this. Rochelle asked me months ago, if you guys don't know who Rochelle is, she is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Design designs and she asked me to do this challenge where we recreate 90 sitcom looks and she gave me Hillary Banks and I was so happy to do it. I'm so excited to see the other sewers who are involved in the challenge as well. She gave me a sneak peek of her outfit and it's super cute so I'm interested to see her video as well but yeah I really love how it turned out and I'm definitely going to be rocking these pieces together and independently like this would be so cute with like some jeans or even just like over uh, dress like it's such a cute look I actually ended up getting this red fabric which is kind of like a polyester blend it's the same type of fabric that I use for my um, blue pants that I just did if you guys haven't seen that video go back and look at the last video they came out so nice it sewed up so nice the only difference I did with this blazer from when the first time I made it I actually lined it the first time I made it, it I did it exactly the way the pattern calls and it's an unlined blazer, but this time, because of this fabric, I wanted it to look a little bit more clean before I did it with the wool fabric. And so this time, basically all I did was cut two of the pieces, well, cut out all my pieces twice and pretty much just like flipped everything inside out and it is perfect. Now it is your lined blazer. It's so nice in the inside and I love how it turned out as far as the skirt. I did it exactly the way I always do, according to the instructions of the pattern. Again, I will link um, the pattern review on this skirt so you guys can see those videos if you want to recreate these looks. But yeah, I really love how it turned out. I'm going to give you guys, you know, a few pictures and me modeling the outfit, but I just thought it was so cute and i was so glad i was able to actually do this i'm trying to do more challenges but i work full time and i sew in my spare time so 
I had been asked by Rochelle months ago, so I was able to squeeze this one in. I have been missing a few opportunities to jump on some sewing tags, but I'm so glad I was able to do this one. If you're new here and you're coming from Rochelle channel, hey guys, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe if you love sewing content. I'm going to link her channel as well and the hashtag so that you guys can see other videos that will be getting uploaded. I'm not sure else who's going to be doing a challenge, but I'm so glad I was able to get this one in. So yeah, if you guys have any questions on anything about any of these items, which is this blazer and this skirt for Hillary Banks recreation, go ahead and leave them in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, if you would click the notification bell so that you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. So until next time, bye. Thank <laughs> you.